In this video, let's take a look at divisibility rules. The reason why it's helpful to know divisibility rules is because then we don't have to do long division over and over to see if each number goes into a given number. Our goal is to see if each of these numbers is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, while doing as little long division as possible. Hopefully by the end of these practice problems, you'll feel a lot better about your divisibility rules and you won't have to do as much long division. For number one, we have the number 80, right? So to see if the number is divisible by two, you just have to look at the last number and if it's an even number, then you can divide it by two, all right? Uh, so if you divide it by two, uh, that is gonna be 40. And so uh, if you have 40, right, uh, then you gotta ask yourself, can you divide that by two? And so if you can divide it by two again, then four is also going to work and that's gonna get you 20. And if you can take half of that one more time, then eight's gonna work. So always think about your twos, fours, and eights together. Alrighty. Next, after that, what you should do is you should also look at the sum of the digits. So if you take eight plus zero, if you add those numbers together, you get eight. Now, if that eight is a multiple of three, then it is divisible by three, but it's not. So we're gonna get rid of this three over here. And also if the sum of those digits is a multiple of nine, then nine would work, but eight is definitely not a multiple of nine. So that's not gonna work, okay? Now to see if the number is divisible by five, you have to see if the last number is a zero or five. So this zero over here is a zero or five. So that's gonna work. And for 10, uh, you have to see if the last number is a zero. So it is a zero, so 10 is going to work. For this number six here, to see if a number is divisible by six, it has to work for two and three. So for six to work here, uh, you have to have two and three both work. But we also knew that three didn't work, so six will not work, okay? For seven, my recommendation right now is basically just to do the long division for it. Uh, so if you go ahead and take uh, the 80 and you divide it by 7, 80 divided by 7. Uh, hopefully you may know that it doesn't go in, but if you go ahead and divide and there's a remainder, then it's not divisible. So if you go ahead and do the long division here, you're going to get this uh, 11 uh, with a remainder of 3. So you can see that is not divisible by 7. All right, for number 2, uh, we have the number 24 here. So is 24, is the last number even? Uh, I think yes, so we're gonna go ahead and say it is divisible by two. If you take half of 24, that's 12. Uh, can you take half of that? Sure, you can. So uh, it is divisible by four because you can take half of 12 to get six, right? And if you look at this six, you can ask yourself if you can divide six and half, and since it's an even number, then the answer is yes. You can take half of this one more time because that would be three. Okay, uh, so that takes care of two, four, and eight, and I always recommend trying to do those together since they're all just taking half and half and half. And then afterwards, let's see what we can do here. We can go ahead and take a look at the sum of the digits. So two plus four, that equals six. So then you ask yourself, is six a multiple of three? And it is, so we can go ahead and circle three. And then you can ask yourself, is six a multiple of nine? And it is not, because it's smaller, so nine will not work, all right? Following that, we can go ahead and ask ourselves, does this number end in a five or a zero? Well, it has to end in a five or zero for five to work, and it has to end in zero for 10 to work, so it's not gonna work for either of those, all right? So then we can go on to look at the six. So again, the rule for six is that it has to work for two and three, and since it works for two and three in this problem, then we know we can circle six. For 24 divisible by seven, uh, if you know your seven times tables, you're gonna say it's no. Uh, but if you think about this, three times seven is gonna be 21. And you can see there's a remainder of three. So seven is not going to work. So the only ones here that are gonna work are gonna be two, three, four, six, and eight. Let's try number three. For number three, I'm gonna go ahead and write the number 25 down. And what we're gonna do is look at the last digit first. So look at that five, and this five is an odd number. So since it's odd right off the bat, two doesn't work, four doesn't work, and eight doesn't work, okay? So four and eight are dependent on the two. Moving on, what we can do is just see the sum of the digits. So if we look at two plus five, that is gonna equal seven. Now seven is not a multiple of three, and it's not also not a multiple of nine. So those aren't going to work either, okay? Following that, what I'd like to do is take a look at the last digit here and see if it's a five or a zero. And if it's a five, it definitely works for five and it's not a zero, so it can't work for 10. 
Uh, for six to work, you might remember that uh, it has to work for two and for three, but you can notice that it didn't work for two or three, so that one fails. And then for 25, you can go ahead and say, oh, does uh, seven go into 25 evenly? That's the only one I would suggest using long division four, just because the rules may be a little more difficult to uh, remember. Most people don't remember it, and uh, this one does not work. So for 25, it's just going to be five. For number four, we have the number 60, okay? And the last number is even, so two is good to go. You can take half of 60 and that's 30, right? Uh, and then can you take half of 30 again? Well, yeah, that's going to be 15. So that means this four is gonna work. And the question is, can you take half of that again? Well, 15 is an odd number, so you cannot take half of that. So we're gonna go ahead and say eight will not work here. All right, so again, you're gonna keep trying to take half for those. For, to check for divisible by three, again, we're gonna add the digits, six plus zero, that's six. That's a multiple of three, but it's not a multiple of nine, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and look at the last digit and say, okay, uh, is it a five or zero? Yes, and it works for five and 10. To check for six, it does work for two and three. Again, it has to work for both, so six is going to work here. And then for seven, we can go ahead and just do the long division one time, which still beats doing it for all of them, right? And so I think eight times seven is 56, and you're gonna notice that there's a remainder. If there's a remainder, it's not divisible by seven. Let's try number five. For number five, we have the number 64. So let's go ahead and write that down. What's the last digit? The last digit's a four, so that's even. Two's gonna work. If you take half of 64, that's gonna be 32. And so the question is, can you take half of that again? Well, yeah, it's still even, so you can take half of that. Half of 32 is going to be 16, and that's still an even number. So that means you can take half of that again. So if you can take half three times, then two, four, and eight are all going to work. After that, let's take a look at the six and the four. The six and the four make 10 if you add them together. Now, 10 is not a multiple of three, and it's not a multiple of nine, so that rules those ones out. Then we also look at the last digit, which is a four, which is not a zero or a five, so five and 10 both don't work. For six, take a notice that uh, the three did not work, so it's gotta work for both, so six fails. And then finally, for checking to see if it's divisible by seven, uh, hopefully uh, we know it does not because seven times nine is 63. It's super close, but not quite, but there's a remainder, so seven's not gonna work. Seven's not getting much love right now from any of these uh, numbers. <laughs> uh, for number six, we have the number 75. All right, so 75, what's the last digit? It's a five, so it's odd. If it's odd, that means two fails, four fails, and eight fails. Technically, you can also say that, uh, you know, six and 10 are gonna fail too, but um, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, if you go ahead and take a look at seven plus five, that equals 12. Is 12 a multiple of three? You bet, three times four is 12. Uh, 12 is not a multiple of nine, so we're gonna cross that one out. Um, we can look at the last digit. The last digit is a five, so uh, five's definitely going to work, but 10's gonna fail, has to end in zero for that one. For six, uh, six is gonna fail. Again, once two fails, I was saying earlier that uh, we know six is gonna fail as well. And then finally, for checking for seven, let's see if this is the one that'll work for. Nope, <laughs> one times seven is seven. The remainder is zero, bring down the five. So uh, you're gonna notice here that this is going to be, um, it goes in 10 times with five left over. So remainder. Alrighty, let's check on number seven and eight. For number seven, we have the number 63. So you can see that this last digit here is a three, which is odd. So right off, right off the bat, I'm gonna cross off the two and the four and the eight. Okay, you can also cross off the six and 10 if you want to right now, just from the start, but I'm gonna just keep going the same process here for a little bit, and then I'll, I'll uh, shorten it up a little bit as you get used to this. Um, following, I'm gonna say six plus three is equal to nine. So that means you can divide this by three because that's a multiple of three, and it looks like nine's a multiple of nine. So that one's gonna work for nine here, okay? The last digit is a three, which is not a five or a zero, so that fails for five and for 10. We already knew two failed, right? So if two failed, we know six is going to fail. And then for seven, let's see, 63 divided by seven. 
Um, hmm, oh, nine times seven is 63. So yay, we finally found one that works for seven. All right, so 63 times, uh, or 63 divided by nine is seven, or 63 divided by seven is nine. For number eight, we have the number 42. Okay, so is that an even number? Yes, it ends in a two, so we can go ahead and circle two. But if you take half of 42, that's 21. So now that it's an odd number, four is gonna fail and eight's gonna fail. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add the digits four plus two, that equals six. So is six a multiple of three? Yes, it is, but it's not a multiple of nine, so nine fails. Uh, to check to see if it's divisible by five or 10, we look at this digit, is it a five or a zero? Nope and it's not a zero, so nope. And then if you take a look at six, six we're gonna say yes to because two and three both work. And then we have to check seven, right? So if we do 42 divided by seven, 42 divided by seven, I think six times seven is exactly 42, and you get a remainder of zero. So uh, you can see that seven's gonna work here. Let's check out number nine. For number nine, we have the number 96. So if we go ahead and write 96 down, Let's go ahead and ask ourselves, is that an even number? It is, so a two is gonna work. What's half of 96? That's going to be 48. Is that still an even number? Uh, it is, so it ends in eight, so four is gonna work. Half of 48 is going to be 24. Is that still an even number? It is, so that means eight's gonna work as well. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and check our divisibility for three and nine. So nine plus six is 15. 15 is a multiple of three, three times five is 15, but 15 is not a multiple of nine, okay? Uh, if we look at 96, let's see the last number, if it's a five or zero, it's neither. So five and 10 are going to fail. For six, six is gonna work because two and three work, so six is going to work. And then for seven, we can go ahead and try dividing here. Um, this is gonna go in one time, that's seven. We have a remainder of two. Bring down the six, that's going to be three. That's 21 and we have a remainder. So seven's gonna fail here. For number 10, we have the number 84. So we're gonna go ahead and write that down. It's an even number, so two is gonna be good right off the bat. Half of 84 is gonna be 42, which is still an even number. So you can cut it in half again. Half of 42 is gonna be 21. Now that it's an odd number, we know eight is gonna fail because you cannot take half of that, all right? Then we're gonna go ahead and check our rule for three. So eight plus four is going to be 12. Is that a multiple of three? Well, three times four is 12, okay? Uh, nine times nothing gets you 12 evenly, so we're gonna get rid of this uh, nine. And then we're gonna check for our five and 10. This is not a five or zero, so five fails and 10 fails. Because uh, two and three both passed, that means six will automatically pass. And then for seven, let's go ahead and do the long division and just check that out. So that's gonna be a one, that's a seven, that's a one and a four. Seven times two is 14, so we get a remainder of zero. So seven passes. For number 11, let's check out this number 87. So 87 looks like it is an odd number, ends in a seven, so that means two's gonna fail, four is gonna fail, and eight's gonna fail. Now keep in mind, if two fails, six is automatically gonna fail, because it depends on the two and the three. And if uh, all these even numbers are also failing, we also know that uh, this 10 is gonna fail also. 10 needs to have two work for it, okay? So just like right off the bat, you can know if it's odd, uh, all of these even numbers are not going to work, okay? Uh, and then we can see uh, checking for three, eight plus seven is going to be 15. Uh, that is a multiple of three since three times five is 15, so we can circle that, but it's not a multiple of nine, so we're gonna cross that one out. Then if we look at the last digit, this is a seven, so it's not a five, so we can cross that out. It's not a five or a zero. Uh, and then finally checking for seven, we can take 87 and try dividing it by seven. It's gonna go in once here, one times seven is seven. We have a remainder of one, bring this down. Uh, this is gonna go in twice, that's 14. And we have a remainder of three, so seven's gonna fail. If we take a look at number 12, we have the number 57. Okay, 57 is an odd number, so two fails, four fails, and eight fails. Keep in mind that if two fails, then we also know six will fail. And if two fails, we also know that 10's gonna fail, right? All odd numbers will not work for any of these even numbers. So that's a nice little shortcut that rules out a bunch of these. Then let's add the digits five plus seven to see if it's divisible by three or nine. 
So five plus seven is 12, which is a multiple of three, but not a multiple of nine. Then we look at the seven here and we notice that the uh, seven is not five or zero, so five is gonna fail. And then for seven, we can just do the long division. And so seven times eight is 56, which is as close as we can get, but there's a remainder, so seven fails. Let's check out 13. For 13, we have the number 93. So it's kind of nice seeing all these odd numbers because they're actually pretty quick. So it's an odd number, so two fails, four fails, eight fails. We also know six fails because the two fails, and because the two failed, 10 fails. All the even numbers are out, okay? Let's check for three. So nine plus three is 12. That is a multiple of three, but it's not a multiple of nine. So remember that trick works for three and nine. Then we check for three here, if it's a five or a zero, which it is neither, so five fails. And then finally, let's check for seven. So we have 93 divided by seven, and seven goes in once, that's seven. We have the remainder of two, bring down the three. That's gonna be three times seven is 21. All right, we have a remainder, so seven fails. For 14, we have the number 120. And so let's see, the last digit is a zero. So two is gonna be good right off the bat. If you can take half of 120, which is 60, is it still an even number? It is, so four is gonna work. You can take half of that, that's 30, and you can ask yourself, can you take half of that? Well, it's still even, so eight's going to work as well. For checking for three and nine, you can add one plus two plus zero, which is equal to three. So three is definitely a multiple of three, but it's not a multiple of nine, okay? Then let's look at the last digit, which is zero. So if zero is the last digit, then five definitely works and 10 definitely works. For six, notice how two and three both work. So six automatically will work. And then we got to check for seven, so 120. Unfortunately, we have to do one long division here, but it beats the rule most of the time. So seven times one gets you seven. Remainder is five, bring down the zero. Seven times seven is gonna be 49. We got a remainder of one. So since there's a remainder, seven's not going to work. For 15, we have the number 144. So let's go ahead and write that down, 144. Looks like the last digit is an even number, so two is going to work. Half of 144 is going to be 72. So that's still an even number, so four is gonna work. Half of 72 is 36, and you can take half of that again since it's even. So eight is going to work as well. All right, so that is all the twos and all the evens we took care of by the powers of two, dividing by two, I mean. And then we're gonna go ahead and try the rules for three and nine. So one plus four plus four. If you add those up, you get nine. Nine is a multiple of three, and nine is also a multiple of nine. For six, two and three both check out, so six is good to go. And the last digit here is a four, which is not a zero or a five, so five fails and 10 fails as well. And finally, checking for seven, let's just do one quick division problem. And so seven times two is 14, that's a remainder of zero, bring down the four. And uh, this goes in zero times, so that's going to be zero. So we have a remainder of four, so seven's gonna fail here. For number 16, we have 111. It ends in a one, which is odd. So two is gonna fail, four is gonna fail, eight's gonna fail. Based on that, we also know six is gonna fail, and we also know 10 is gonna fail, okay? Checking for divisibility by three and nine, one plus one plus one is equal to three. So three is a multiple of three, so you can divide it by three, but it's not a multiple of nine, so we can't do nine. Checking for five, this ends in a one, which is not a five or a zero, so five is gonna fail. Finally, checking for seven, we're gonna go ahead and try dividing here. Uh, it's gonna go in once, one times seven is seven. The remainder here is gonna be four. Bring down the one. We can put a five here, five times seven is gonna be 35. And you subtract here and you're gonna get six. So uh, there's a remainder, so seven's gonna fail here. On to 17. For 17, we have the number 56. So that is an even number, so two is good. Half of that is 28, it's still even, so we can do four. And half of that is gonna be 14, which is still even, so we can do eight. 
five plus six is going to be 11, which is not a multiple of three and not a multiple of nine. Looking at the last digit, this is a six. And so that is not divisible by uh, five, it has to end in five or zero and 10 fails also. Uh, if we take a look, uh, six will fail because three failed. And then for seven, we can take this 56 and divide by seven. Turns out eight times seven is exactly 56. So there's no remainder, so seven's gonna work. For number 18, we have the number 48. Ends in an even number, so two is good. Half of that is 24. The four is even, so four is good. Half of that is 12, which is ending in an even number again, so eight's going to work. Checking for three and nine, four plus eight is 12, which is a multiple of three, but not a multiple of nine. This ends in an eight, which is not a five or a zero, so five and 10 both fail. For six, two and three both work, so six works also. And for 48, if we go ahead and divide, uh, this goes in six times, that's 42. We have a remainder of six, so seven fails. For 19, we have the number 180. So for the number 180, uh, it ends in an even number, so two is gonna work. Half of that is 90 which still ends in an even number, so four works. Half of that is 45. It is no longer even, so eight's going to fail. Adding the digits up, one plus eight plus zero is gonna equal nine, which is a multiple of three, and it's a multiple of nine, so they both work. Uh, checking for six, two, and three both work, so six is going to work. Checking for five and 10, Ends in a zero, so five checks out and 10 checks out. For seven, we can go ahead and divide. Seven times two is 14. We have a rain, remainder of four. Bring down the zero here, that's gonna be a five. 35, we have a remainder of five, so seven fails. For number 20, we have the number 147. And so it ends in an odd number, so two fails, four fails, eight fails. If two fails, six fails, also 10 fails. Checking for three and nine, one plus four plus seven, that equals 12. Is that a multiple of three? Yes. Is it a multiple of nine? No. The last digit is a seven. So is that a five or a zero? No. So five fails here. And can you divide this by seven? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's divide this by seven. That's going to be a two. That's 14, remainder of zero, bring down the seven. Goes in one time, one times seven is seven. We have a remainder of zero. So seven does work, goes in 21 times. For number 21, we have the number 174, 174. Is it an even number? Yep, it ends in four, so that's even. Half of 174. If you take half of 174, I think that's going to be 87. Right, 87. So now it's an odd number, so four is gonna fail. And anything after that that's even is gonna fail like the two, like the four and the eight here, okay? Um, we go ahead and check for three and nine. So if we go ahead, and add, go ahead and add one plus seven plus four, that's gonna equal 12. And so you can divide this by three, but not nine. Two and three both work, which means six automatically works. This doesn't end in a five or a zero, so five fails, 10 fails. And then checking for seven, let's take 174 and try dividing it by seven. That's two times seven is 14, remainder of three, bring down the four. Uh, let's see, that's going to be four. That's gonna be 28 and we have a remainder of six. So uh, seven's gonna fail. For number 22, we have the number 150. It ends in an even number, so two is gonna be just fine. Half of 150 is 75. And now that it's an odd number, four fails and eight fails. Checking for three and nine, one plus five plus zero is equal to six, which is a multiple of three, but not nine. Since two and three both work, six will also work. Because it ends in a zero, we know that five works and 10 works. And then checking for seven, we can take this 150 and divide it by seven. Two times seven is 14. We have one off and have a zero. 
One times seven is seven. We have a remainder of three, so seven's gonna fail. For 23, we have the number 168. So for 168, looks like that's an even number, right? The last number is an eight, so two is gonna work. Half of 168 is going to be 84. Still ends in an even number, so four is gonna work. Half of this is gonna be 42. Still ends in an even number, so this eight's going to work. Now going ahead and adding the digits one plus six plus eight, that's a total of 15, which is a multiple of three, but not a multiple of nine. If we take a look at the fact that two and three both work, that means six works. And then checking the last digit, is it a five or a zero? It's not a five or a zero, so five and 10 both fail. And then for looking to see for seven, let's take 168, cut it into sevenths and see. So that's two times seven is 14. Remainder of two, bring down the eight. Seven times four is exactly 28. So we have a remainder of zero. So seven checks out here. For 24, we have the number 216. Right off the bat, we see it's an even number. So two is gonna be good. Half of this is gonna be 108, which eight is still even. So we can go again. That's gonna be 54. And if you can take half of that, then eight's going to work as well. Checking for three and nine, two plus one plus six equals nine, which is a multiple of three and a multiple of nine. Two and three both check out, so you know six is going to check out as well. And then looking at this six here, that is not a five or a zero, so five and 10 don't pass here. And then 216 divided by seven, let's see here. Uh, this goes in three times, that's 21. Remainder of zero, bring down the six. Seven doesn't fit into six, it goes in zero times, so we have a remainder of six. So seven's gonna fail. Let's check out 25. For 25, we have the number 240. So 240, is it end in an even number? It does, so that one's going to work. Half of 240 is gonna be 120. Is it still even? Yep. Half of that is gonna be 60, which is still even, so eight's going to work as well. Two plus four plus zero is gonna equal six, and that is a multiple of three, but not a multiple of nine. Two and three work, six works. This ends in a zero, which means that five works and 10 works. If you take 240 and you divide it by seven, you're gonna get three times seven is 21. That's gonna be three, add a zero, bring it down. Then we're gonna have four. That's gonna be close, but we have a remainder, so seven's out of the question. For number 26, we have the number 270. And so that ends in an even number, so two checks out. Half of 270 is gonna be 135. And so you notice how that's an even number with that five there. So we know that uh, this four is gonna fail and eight is also going to fail. Moving on to if it's divisible by three uh, and nine, two plus seven plus zero is equal to nine. So that's a multiple of three and nine. If two and three work, that means you can cut it into sixths just fine. And if it ends in a zero, five checks out and 10 checks out. And is 270 divided by seven, does that go in evenly? Uh, let's see, three times seven is 21. Remainder of six, bring this down. Uh, I think eight times seven is 56. So we have a remainder of four, so seven doesn't work. For 27, we have uh, the number 140. 140, it ends in an even number, so two works. Half of that is 70, which is still even, so four works. Half of that is 35. You can't take half of that again, so eight fails. Checking for three and nine, one plus four plus zero is equal to five. So three fails, nine fails. It ends in a zero, which means five passes, 10 passes. Three had failed, so we know six is going to fail. And then for seven, we have 140 divided by seven. That's two times seven is 14, remainder of zero, bring down the zero, goes in zero times. So seven does work here. For number 28, we have the number 183 because it ends in a three, which is odd. Two fails, four fails, eight fails, six fails as well, and 10 fails. So a lot right off the bat. 
one plus eight plus three is going to be 12. 12 is a multiple of three, but not a multiple of nine. The last digit is a three, which is not a five or a zero, so five fails. And then checking for seven, let's take 183 and divide it by seven. That's gonna be two times seven is 14. That's a four, bring down the three. That's six to get 42. We got a remainder of one, so it doesn't go in evenly for this one. For 29, we have the number 255. I really like when they're odd, so we actually have a lot less work to do. So uh, five is odd, so two fails, four fails, eight fails. Uh, we also know that six is gonna fail and 10 is gonna fail. Checking for three and nine, two plus five plus five is equal to 12, which is a multiple of three, but not a multiple of nine. Then checking out, is it divisible? It ends in a five, so five is gonna work. And then for seven, let's see, 255 divided by seven. Three times seven is gonna be 21. We have a remainder of four, bring down the five. This goes in six times, that's 42. And the remainder is three, so seven's not going to work. For number 30, we have the number 360. So that ends in an even number. And so I'm gonna go ahead and say two is good to go. Half of that is gonna be 180. And so that ends in an even number. Half of that is 90, and that ends in an even number. Checking for three and nine, we can add three plus six plus zero, and that does equal nine. So that's a multiple of three and a multiple of nine. If two and three both check out, six also checks out. This ends in a zero, which satisfies the five and the 10. So go ahead and circle those. That just leaves the seven here. So uh, 360 divided by seven, this goes in five times, that's 35. That's a remainder of one and a zero. So that's a one and a seven. We have a remainder of three, so seven's gonna fail. So it works for all of them, but seven. For 31 and 32, we have the last couple here. So for 31, we have the number 336. This ends in an even number, okay? So we know two's gonna work right off the bat. If you take half of 336, that's going to be 168. Still ends in an even number, so this four is fine. Half of this is going to be 84, which is still an even number. So that means eight is also going to work. Checking for three and nine, three plus three plus six equals 12, which is a multiple of three, but not a multiple of nine. If two and three work, you know the drill, six is gonna work. This ends in a six, which is neither a zero or a five, so five fails and 10 fails. Then checking if it's divisible by seven. Four times seven is 28, we're left with five. Bring down the six. Eight times seven is exactly 56, so we have a remainder of zero, so seven checks out. For this last problem, we have the number 840. 840 ends in an even number, which is zero, so two works. Half of this is gonna be 420, which is still even, so four is gonna work. Half of that is gonna be 210, which is still even, and so eight's going to work. Adding these up, eight plus four plus zero is equal to 12, so that means three will work, but nine will not. Ends in a zero here, so that means five will work and 10 will work. Two and three check out good for six. And then for seven, one final long division. Seven goes into eight once, one times seven is seven, remainder of one, bring down the four. Two times seven is 14, remainder of zero, bring this down. Zero times seven is zero, remainder of zero. So that means seven does check out for this one. So I know that was a lot of practice problems and a lot of thinking this through, but hopefully with a lot of practice, you feel like you got these rules down. Uh, while we did do long division for checking for that seven, uh, it's nice to not have to do it for any of the other numbers if you just know these rules. So hopefully you found this video helpful and save you a little bit of time in the future when you're trying to look for some factors. And as always, keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next one.